Hey everybody, welcome to System Test 30. So if you've been watching any uh, YouTube videos that have been uploaded recently, or uh, you just checked the title of this video, you probably already know exactly what these uh, blue system sensor boxes mean. Today's System Test is going to feature the brand new L-Series devices by System Sensor that I actually just received yesterday. And I remember a couple system tests ago, I was joking that the LED exceeders were probably the newest devices I've ever run because, you know, they were from about a year old, like a year old at that point. Well, these devices completely blow that test out of the water because these two devices were manufactured last month. So, let's take a look. And here they are. So I went ahead and turned the boxes so you can see the model number as well as hear it when I talk about it. So over on the left hand side of the board we have a white P2WL. This is the horn strobe version, the direct replacement for the P2W from the advance line. And this is the uh, standard width version so this mounts directly on a uh, 4 inch uh, steel conduit box. Then over on the right hand side of the board we have a red SGRL remote strobe. This is the new compact version, so while the standard version, like I just said, can mount on a 4 inch box or an octagon box, or, uh, you know, I think it can mount on a single gang box, this one is limited only to mounting on single gang boxes. And if you uh, look at the way it's sitting on the adapter plate, you'll notice it's kind of shifted over to the left. That's actually how these mount, because if you've ever looked at the back of a Spectralert device, you'll see that the wiring terminal is shifted over to the left hand side of the device when you're looking at it from the front. So in order to accommodate that same arrangement within a single gang box, um, it actually mounts slightly off center to where the box outline would be. But uh, like I said, these were manufactured last month, so they are brand new off the assembly line. Uh, they, I believe they are manufactured in Mexico and they retain the same tone as the uh, Spectralert Advance did for the electromechanical version in addition to that new uh, 3000 Hertz squealy beepy one um, but for today the horn strobe is set on the standard electromechanical uh, uh, code 3 low and then of course the panel is coding both of these to continuous uh, since the horn strobe is a two wire device uh, I can't do audible silence on that and while I would be able to set the NAC2 uh, output to audible silence for the uh, remote strobe, I felt that was kind of pointless. And since the new versions of NFPA, uh, the code books say that you're not supposed to use audible silence anyways, uh, when I hit silence, it's just going to kill everything. So let's go ahead and try these guys out. Of course, nothing goes along better with system sensor devices than... Uh, Firelight Honeywell BG12s, got the dual action version over on the left hand side and then the single action with the lock, so the BG12 SL over on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and pull one of these. So I just went ahead and hit silence on the panel, and like I explained earlier, with the two-wire device and the remote strobe with it, didn't make any sense to program in audible silence. So uh, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is pull the second pull station down here and leave the uh, camera up on the two devices so you can see uh, just about how long the strobes will stay in sync without any sort of sync module. So here we go.
So as you can see, it's, you know, even though it's not perfect, these do stay in sync pretty well together. So the uh, timing on these circuits is pretty well done. I'd say that these even give the uh, LED exceeders a run for their money with how long they could stay synced together. Like I mentioned in a couple uh, tests ago, I got the LED exceeders by starting off just perfectly to stay in sync with each other for just about two and a half, three minutes. Uh, even though when I filmed it for the system test, it was pretty disappointing because they fell right out of sync. Uh, but these ones do seem to stay pretty reliably in sync. Um, kind of reminiscent of those old uh, EST integrity strobes where they'll sync with each other, even though I don't think that these have that capability whatsoever. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and reset the pool stations and then reset the system. Start by resetting the double action station, which requires an Allen wrench. And then the single action station, which takes the firelight key. Now to reset the panel. So that's it for the system test content today. So now we can take a little while and talk about these new L-Series devices. So uh, when the, they first came out with those images of them, either late last year or early this year, whenever it was. Uh, I remember a lot of us were pretty worried about uh, how seemingly ugly these things looked, and I'll admit in those pictures, um, those computer renderings, they did look pretty terrible. But uh, when you actually have one here, uh, although it looks goofy with the strobe protruding out of the uh, body like that, when you look at them from uh, straight on, as if you would be looking at them in a building where it was mounted on a wall. Uh, they're honestly not that bad. I'd argue that the uh, standard version almost looks better than the uh, compact version, even though I only have you know these two devices to compare, and that just might be uh, because the Hornstrobe version I have is the white color, which is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than the uh, red version. But uh, I. I've made comments before that the uh, Speculator Advanced series was well designed and the build quality was really good on that model. And uh, although there is a couple drawbacks to this one, especially the uh, new mounting plate, I'd say that the same is true for these. The body is still really durable. Uh, the horn, I wouldn't say it sounds great, but it definitely does its job. It's got a nice consistent tone. It doesn't, you know, warble or waver around like some of the... Uh, electronic horns do, especially the true alerts kind of change pitch every once in a while. But um, like I showed in the video, the strobes, the timing on those is great. Uh, they're very bright, even though I only have them set on 15 candela. And uh, I pretty much only have good things to say about these. I just got them yesterday from that uh, eBay listing that popped up online a couple days ago, and I'm really happy that I got them. So maybe we'll be seeing these in a couple more videos. I know that I kind of cheated and uh, showed these off before I put out the uh, new fire alarm devices for May of 2017 video. And you may also notice that this uh, system test video is being uploaded on a Tuesday um, instead of a uh, either a Friday or Sunday is usually when I release the system test videos. And this video only comes about a week after my previous Spectralert Advance video. But... Uh, I just wanted to get this video out here because they are so new and they are so uh, cool. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.